Here's how to service or change your parking brakes on a vehicle with rear disc brakes. I'm gonna remove the wheel. Next I need to remove the caliper by removing this 12 millimeter slider bolt. Remove the caliper. We need to remove a 10 millimeter bolt that holds the brake hose and also the ABS wire on. Remove the caliper from the rotor and set that aside. Next, remove the brake pads. Next, we need to remove two 14 millimeter bolts holding the caliper bracket on. It looks like mine are stripped. I'm going to use these bolt extractors to see if I can get So I was able to grind off the bolts using the Dremel tool at the bottom and also at the top so I can remove the caliper bracket. Remove the rotor. So here we've got the manual which illustrates all of the parking brake pieces. We start with the shoes here on both sides along with the parking brake shoe lever that's held in by a C-clip. Then there's the strut followed by the spring and then the return tension springs here at the top. And then at the bottom we've got the return tension spring for the adjuster, which is this here. And what holds this all together is the shoe hold down spring. We've got the pin here, the spring, and retention cup. I'm going to first start by releasing the return springs. I'm going to release the shoe hold down spring by pressing it. I'm turning it 90 degrees and then that will fall off. Here's the shoe hold down spring on the other side. And we're going to carefully remove the shoe assembly from the hub. Remove that and then I can remove the tension spring. Remove the parking brake shoe strut and spring. Next I'm going to remove the shoe hold down spring pin. And remove the spring pin from this side here. The left side shoe here is still attached to the parking brake via the cable. So I'm just going to use a pliers, stretch that back and release the cable. So here I've got my parking brake shoe with the parking brake lever attached with the C-clip. Now if you're going to replace the shoe, you just need to use a pliers and take out the C-clip. According to the manual, the C-clip is not reusable. The manual also specifies a 2 millimeter thickness for the shoe lining. It's always important to have everything laid out so you can keep track of things. So to replace the bearings, there's four 14 millimeter bolts that need to be removed for the entire hub assembly to come out. You also need to remove the hub assembly if you need to change the backing plate here. I'm just going to use a wire brush and clean up the area before reinstalling the new hardware. Spray some brake cleaner on them. I'm going to apply a little bit of brake lube on the adjusting bolt. I'm also going to apply a bit of anti-seize on the adjusting bolt threads. Next I'm going to apply some anti-seize to the six points where the parking brake shoe touches the rotor. Next I'm going to attach the left braking shoe with the parking brake shoe arm to the cable. And apply a little bit of anti-seize in here. Next I'm going to reinstall the return tension spring onto the drums. And then I'm going to reinstall the shoe adjusting screw set. A little bit more anti-seize here where the shoe strut compression spring goes. And on this side. A little bit of anti-seize around here. Next I'm going to take the shoe assembly and put it around the hub. And just let it sit there. And reinstall the parking shoe strut and compression spring. Next I'm going to reinstall the shoe pull-down spring from the back of the 
up. Reinstall the shoe hold down spring from this side. To install the shoe hold down spring, we've got first this washer, the spring, and then the retaining clip. So after some wiggling, I was able to get the shoe hold down spring cups onto the brake shoes. And I can adjust the brake shoes so that the strut is correctly seated and then reinstall the retention springs. Alright, I'm going to reinstall the retention springs over here. Now that everything is installed, I'm just going to make sure that everything seats properly. Before I reinstall the rotor, I'm just going to clean up the brake shoes. I'm going to use some brake cleaner to clean up the rotor. I'm going to reinstall the rotor with this axis hole corresponding to the large hole on the hub. So here I've got the caliper bracket with the clips for the brake pads already put in. I'm just going to put in a little bit of lube to help the pads slide a little bit easier. Next I'm going to install the caliper bracket and thread in my brand new bolts with anti-seize on them. Just going to make sure it's nice and snug. So here I've got the brake pad. I'm just going to go ahead and reinstall that. Next I'm going to reinstall the caliper. I'm going to reinstall the caliper bolt. Nice and snug, tighten that down. Next I'm going to replace the 12 millimeter bolt that holds the brake line and the ABS wire to the strut. Give us a quick clean. I'm going to use a screwdriver and put it in here to turn the star wheel up or down to adjust the parking brake. Make sure the wheel order can still move. Finally, we'll give the parking brake a few tries to allow the shoes to reseat. Then take the vehicle for a test drive and make sure it works properly 